In referring to himself as the bridegroom in today's gospel, our Lord speaks of that great marvel of our faith, that mystery by which he demonstrates his, un his uncomprehensible love for mankind, for he will betroth himself to the church when he undergoes his passion and his death. But until that time, the apostles would not be fully incorporated into that mystery, and so they would not be incorporated into the mystery of his suffering. So our Lord tells the disciples of John and of the Pharisees that they do not, fa they do not fast for the time being. But the time will come, he says, when they will fast, that is, when he pours the new wine into new wineskins, that is, through our baptism, he pours his grace into our souls, and then we are able to follow our Lord in the way that he demonstrated his love for us. And so, in the end of today's gospel, there is a reference to that sacrament of baptism by which we are made members of his mystical body, and also he demonstrates a complete change from the old covenant to the new covenant. For the old covenant, the old wine skin, or the, or the old uh, piece of cloth will be replaced by a new and greater, so much greater that if it were bound in some way to the old, it being greater, it would make the tear worse or the wineskins would burst. And so we see true, very clearly our Lord is speaking to us of what we have to be most grateful for, that he has established an eternal covenant that will last till the end of time, and he has called us into existence in a time when that covenant that covenant is present in the world. And so we have much to rejoice for because the Lord has called us into union with him in that final age in which his church will be the vanguard of truth and of sanctification until the end of time. And so let us strive to follow our Lord in the way he refers to in today's gospel. In his passion and death, he has betrothed himself to us and he has claimed us as members of his body. And so we must strive always and everywhere to follow his way, to come to that most perfect understanding that in this life, the greatest joy that we can have is to be united to Jesus Christ crucified. And indeed, St. Paul tells us most marvelously of that mystery when he says he, he seeks to know nothing but Christ and him crucified. And so the bridegroom has purchased us with a great price. Let us try to repay him with, that, with, with what we are able to do, that is to give ourselves entirely to him so that at the end of our lives we can truly be seen as adopted sons of God our Father and then receive that reward that Christ came to give to each every man, woman, and children who lives in this world and will live in this world until the end of time incorporation into his mystical body in this life in order that we may have eternal life with him in heaven for all eternity.